Everybody has a story. Everybody has a body. It's so important that we get these issues right and we communicate these subtle details to people. People in government who deal with health issues need to have a communications team on, on board from the very start. We miss opportunities sometimes at the local level to really engage the local medical community as part of the communication challenge or cha channel because that is the most trusted person. I believe also very much in the, the need for a trusted spokesperson. These are infrastructures established basically for operational control, surveillance, control, and public outreach is key. Uh, it was talked about earlier, the trust factor. These people are all about local trust. Very different people uh, need very different messages. It's segmentation. I, I like to think of communication by objective. One area where public health can evolve in its communications is really starting to fragment that audience. Our studies from Dengue globally indicate we have the ability today with registered interventions and a strong AMC institution out there transferring knowledge to local citizens. And, and we believe that we can continue to make a difference. If the public is already fearful for whatever reason, um, we need to use that attention to be channeled into interventions where they have control over them. When you do have fear, and people are paying attention, that we give very specific thought to the audiences. Fear is important and often valuable but it's fearing the right thing versus fearing the wrong thing. What we're indicating uh, in the community and in the published literature is that as we speak, more and more data is coming forward from the dengue world regarding evidence for managing uh, caseload based on vector control. So this is again reason for optimism that our tools we have today can be applied in the United States.